Turn it down a little bit. Gotcha. Yeah, let's get. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, he probably about to say turn it down. Hey, okay, turn that, turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little bit. It's, it's, it's down. It's down. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, world? It's me again, Ethan Smith, a.k.a. Big Sarge, in charge of myself, only myself, on my right. You know who we got to my right. Killer Wolf, Killer Six, Mech Wreck, baby. Let's get it. Shooter, on the screen in front of me to my 12 o'clock to y'all, whatever o'clock you got. <laughs> Ooh, we got Whiskey Charlie. You see that? Ooh, we got Whiskey. You see, see that? I see it. Welcome, Whiskey. What's good, up at? What's good, everybody? What's good? Hey, Whiskey Charlie in the house over here. Good to see everybody. Uh, can't wait to start this uh, this uh, grunt speak today. I'm excited. Let's get this started. There, uh, Big Sarge. Well, y'all know what it is, man. This is uh, grunt speak by grunts for grunts, where everybody's welcome, but everybody cannot and will not be a member. You have to just hold a specific MOS identifier. That's all it is. That's what it is. It ain't nothing personal. It ain't nothing particular, but you have to hold that. Okay. Moving right along. PSA. This may not be for kids, but it'll bless your kids if you listen to the message and don't judge the messenger. This may not be for kids, but it'll bless your kids if you listen to the message and don't judge the messenger. It'll bless your life because what this is is a group of grunts who's been through life and who are helping other grunts get through life. So this is Grunt Speak by Grunts for Grunts. Everybody welcome. Everybody cannot, will not be a member, man. So uh, Whiskey Charlie, why don't you kick it off? Tell us how your week been going on, what's been going on, and then you shoot it over the shooter for me, and I'm going to sit back and figure out how to make sure I start sharing this video, tag this video, stream this video, so... Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, look, uh, you know, it was in the last week, you know, I had family come in uh, for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so I had my mom come down from Virginia. I had my uncle come in from uh, Florida. Uh, had a great time with my sister-in-law and all of them. We, uh, you know, went to the zoo, had a birthday party for my, my uh, girls and stuff like that. Uh, outside that, uh, got to have some fun. It's been a while since I went out to uh, uh, range, I guess you can say. I went out and shot some weapons, you know. There you go. Had lay, lay, lay some uh, rounds down the field, so it felt oh, good. Man. It felt so good, man. <laughs> hey, shooting the AR, shoot, shooting, uh, you know, the uh, 18 mag shotgun, the 12 gauge oh, shotgun, yeah. and then a uh, SKS, and then I shot my Judge. Uh, so, man, it was live, dude. I loved it, and that's one thing I do miss about the military. Man, just shooting this, there ain't nothing like the smell of gunpowder in the morning, baby. Yeah, yeah, lighting shit up, man. Laying it down, man. Blowing shit up. Yeah, yeah. Smell that blood, baby. Smell that blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, but no. Other than that, no. It's, uh, same stuff. Different day. I hung up some Christmas lights a day. So, getting ready for the holidays. You know, got to uh, make sure the kids are happy. Got to love seeing the uh, excitement on uh, the little girls, my little girls' uh, faces today. Uh, right. It was irritating. Really, don't see any uh, need to put up Christmas lights, but uh, for them, hey, it, it means the world, and that's all it matters to me, is I'm uh, putting a smile on their faces. Well, yeah, see, 
about the same this way, man. Shit, I've been put my Christmas tree up. What um, I think I had that thing up beginning of November. <laughs> I had a fall tree up. You might fall tree up. You might as well get two months out of it. You know, what I'm yeah. Saying? Put that shit's much you pay for the bitch. Been packing up everything, getting ready for this move to Atlanta. Um, slanging his eyes, still doing the same thing, packing his muscle on, taking care of family. All right, take care of that body, keeping that immune system up, you know, trying to dodge that corona, you know, that whole thing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, well, yeah. hey, look, that's one of that. Speaking on that, y'all talked about how y'all week has been, what y'all been up to, and what's been going on. And I think I missed half of it, you know, I really did, but I did discover how to share. I was uh, live on all my pages, and I'm streaming watch party in this thing right now. So I'm pretty sure y'all had a good week and y'all did something productive. Yeah. I missed it. I catch up. Well, on it. shot some shit. That's shot right. Some I shit, seen man. your Facebook page. Your around, Facebook man. page told me everything I need to know. Right. You went and hey. shot some shit. Then Siley, Siley and Nova Lee had birthday parties five and one. Like I know all I need to know. Just by watching your Facebook page and everything. You ain't nothing lying. You know what I'm saying? So I'm good to go. So I kind of miss what y'all was talking about. But anyhow, I heard you say something about that, that coronavirus going in. And me and my wife was talking about that yesterday on my expression session show about the uh, second wave. And right. we talking about the pandemic right now, I'm talking about the second wave and how it's affecting Thanksgiving. And they talking about people not traveling. Oh, yeah, man. Oh. How is how has the pandemic thinking about from when it really hit us? I think back in like what? February, March, late February, February yeah. March. So late February, March, when it hit us up until now. How how have you dealt with the pandemic? How have you made it through the pandemic? And how has the pandemic affected you personally? Um, shit. Either one of y'all. Basically, um... And y'all let us know. Drop a comment down in the chat box. How have the pandemic affected you? Go. I know what my wife, you know, she works from home now, which is hopefully a soon-to-be permanent position, you know. You get to um, spend more time with family, um... A lot of people, you know, losing their jobs and shit. Ain't got food on, um, you know, losing houses and shit like that. Thankfully, you know, it didn't happen to me, but I know some people that happened to. But yeah, man, change, change a little shit, man. Just learn how to be with yourself, be with your family. Um, hey, look, it's just like you were just saying that it's change, but like just like in the military, hey, adapt and overcome, right? We we always had to uh, adapt when we had to go on missions or anything else. Hey, this is life, man. Hey, we gotta adapt and overcome. You know, you gotta, you gotta wear your proper PPE. You know, hey, you gotta wear that mask for safety. And when you go in and out around other people, I, I don't agree upon all of it. That's my opinion, right? But uh, you know, uh, it, yeah, it's getting pretty serious. I, I do know that, uh, especially where I work, I work in retail, so uh, I've seen a lot of people, you know, talking about how you know it doesn't work, the mask doesn't work, and this, that, and the other, and they're not gonna wear a mask. And then I uh, seen uh, one of the one of my uh, contractors or uh, somebody that I know of really well, uh, you know, his wife ended up getting COVID and real bad off. And then he ended up going back to posting. You know, at first he posted saying that he wasn't ever going to wear a mask. And then now he's talking about wearing a mask because his wife, somebody that he loved, got affected by the situation. Right. So, man, hey, it, it, it's a it's not really it's not something that you really want to play around with. But uh Survival rate, you know, that they're talking about survival rate out there is pretty, uh, pretty good. At the same time, you don't know what everybody's body's different. You know, everybody's uh, body's going to adapt to something, something differently. Uh, I felt like uh, back in early, uh, I was just telling you all prior before we getting on here, uh, I potentially had it myself back in like uh, January, late January, early February, before they even found out that it was actually COVID, a different thing. I had went to the emergency room running 102.5 fever. I was coughing. I was, you know, all kinds, all kinds of signs. And uh, so I took myself away from my family and my dad offered me his camper to go stay in his camper. I went and stayed in his, uh, or his house actually, because uh, he's actually out of town. So I went to stay there for a day or two and then got up and, you know, started working. I mean, go out and do yard work, whatever. I was just kind of like sweating it out because 
the military, you know, they, they don't care how, what type of sickness you have. Unless you were completely snapped in pieces, you better take the Advil and drink water and get the fucking moving on. Get your ass right like, move. Yeah. But, yeah. But that's it, man. Um, that shit affecting a lot of people, man. I think a lot of people not taking uh, it too serious to hit hit a nail yeah. out or hit somebody they know then it clicks like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Yep. This for real, you know what I'm saying? Or see somebody pass from it, you know what I'm saying? But as far as the mask, man, I just say this. Look, everybody should be used to wearing the motherfuckers right now. You know, just wear the shit. And get on with your day, man. All that other bullshit. Wear the mask. You got most of the time you gotta wear the mask to get into establishments now, anyway. So unless you go grocery shopping and make your own food and shit, wear the fucking mask. Drive on. Simple to find. Hmm. What about you, Sergeant Smith? Yeah, I had to I had to snap on hold up like snap on hold on like. Try to see what's going on. I understand. I, I, I understand. I understand your point. Um, I don't. I don't know how much more I believe in coronavirus than I believe in just the normal flu. I believe yep. it's. It's simple as what they talk about. It targets immune systems, and if your health is not right, then you 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 gonna you gonna you gonna be in trouble. You yep. gonna you gonna be in trouble. That's just what it is. And unfortunately, I'm just talking about for African Americans now. Unfortunately, in our community, some of the foods that we eat is not the best for our immune system. It's not the healthiest. Now, it, ain't we the best, say, it ain't the best for nothing. Right. <laughs> it ain't, it ain't, you can say we eating that by choice. You can say that could be eaten by Horse, systemic racism. You could be saying that's eaten by a lot of reasons and a lot of things, but it's, it's not the best for our health. You know what I'm no. saying? It's not, it's not the best for our health. Although some of it is good, it's not good for you. So anyhow... I don't know how much more I'm afraid of that than I am of the normal flu. Because if you're not taking care of your body, you're not taking care of your immune system, you subject to go down from anything. I think now what it is, coronavirus has became a pandemic because it's more so the placebo effect. You know, people believe they got the symptom and then you start believing you have a thing and you start to speak that thing into existence. And before you know it, you laid up in the hospital and you talking about how oh, well, you know how I got asthma, you know how I got this and you know how I got that. You just claiming it all, just speaking it all into existence to me. I, I, know, it's, I know it's a real thing, but I, I mean, so it's like, yo, I'm about to change up my diet. I'm good. I'm healthy. You know, it's like you said, put the mask on, go do your thing and come on out. If you know you're sweet, you're not worried about it either way. The mask is a 50-50 shot, man. Especially if you don't go home and wash your mask every day. You don't clean your mask every day. You take it off, you put it down. You don't know if it's contaminated or not. You just pick it up, put it back on, think you sweet. This the advice to everybody. Wash your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, my drill sergeant. Hey, Walk drill sergeant is always telling us <laughs> exactly. Hey, wash your ass. Yeah. I feel you. yeah. 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 Wash your ass. Yeah. That's it though. That's it. So for me, I don't know how much more I believe in coronavirus than I believe in the regular flu. What's so crazy about coronavirus, though, because, I mean, thinking about you said a lot of people don't, it don't really bother them to affect them personally. Like, my mother passed away April 26th, and according to records, it's from coronavirus. But I really don't know officially how my mother passed. I know that my mother passed during the time that coronavirus was running rapid. And I know it was also during the time that our federal government was paying like $40,000 for each yeah. person that was diagnosed yeah. dead from coronavirus. I know that the CDC had direct orders to say that, you know, if you came in for any type of immune hey, from symptoms, corona, corona, corona. So I don't. Yeah. Hey, you, you could have been, been a car wreck. 
Right. You could have a car wreck. You died from the corona. That's corona. So I don't know how she really died. But what I do know is we are in a state of a pandemic because we are looking up that. What was the pandemic Spanish that you flu. talked about? The Spanish flu. And the Spanish flu killed 50 million people. 50 million people in two years. I ain't saying a million people is not a lot, but according to what I looked at, coronavirus only got a million people, and we like nine or ten months in. It's lagging far behind. Hmm. I think it's more of a pandemic because of the fear of it and the talk about it and the news just beating it yeah, down. News. Yeah, yeah, propaganda. Yeah, man. No, no, we ain't never been through no shit like this in my time. No, we have you never know, in our life. I ain't never seen no shit like this. It's just that. something new. You know, you got a lot of people out there with exposed immune system and shit. You know, the elderly, you know, shit like that. They're like the top tier of, you know, getting fucked up. But again, wrong. though, you know why that is? It goes back to your immune system is weak. And why is your immune system weak? You you put a lot of processed foods in your body. You drive everywhere. You don't walk. You don't exercise. You don't do anything. You Uber this. You Uber that. You Uber eats. You Uber this. They made you want to pay for convenience and you depended on everything. So you so susceptible to a pandemic. It don't make sense. It hey, just Amazon don't... pay for this pandemic. Amazon pay for this pandemic. That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Amazon's racking in. Hey, hey, like, hey, 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 hey. To be Amazon's happy. like, Man, how much are you going to pay to get you people to start getting me some more money? They got some drones <laughs> that they about to start using. Just drop your package off it in front of your house. Look, Man, check, drones, this, check this out. <laughs> just because you said, just because you said drones, my son. He's in uh he's in the cars in the auto mechanics. And so he was showing me some of the top 10 uh, prototype cars for 2021 or 2030 or something like that. And it was a it was an Audi, and it was an Audi, and it was pretty much like an off-road vehicle. Like if you was gonna be out in nature, it almost looked like a dune buggy, you know what I'm saying? But right. the whole cabin was glass almost like look like a dune buggy like it'll be one of those like Mar mars type vehicles you and know what i'm saying cabin glass oh, pretty much you get to see around <laughs> almost but the thing that didn't have no protection, light protection though How right it was all it, you know yeah that you know it's like that that real glass like you have on the military vehicles come on man you gotta okay. think about okay, it okay, okay, how, okay. how tactical that stuff gonna be hmm. but the whole thing you mean it, i can't ride nude anymore I mean, yeah, you could. It probably get tinted windows on that thing. The whole thing probably tinted. You can say tinted windows. But look, so the whole thing it didn't have no lights on the front of it because you mentioned some about somebody said something about drones. Right. It didn't have no lights on it. When you drive it at nighttime, the thing got two automatic drones that fly over above you and shine light ahead of you everywhere you go. That's some high speed shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. That might be a military vehicle. Or hey, I like I'm gonna be it. the old school guy. I'm gonna be the old school guy. I'm just gonna be driving a regular car with the regular headlights. I don't trust that shit. Be gonna... nope. You know what? When we want to do that, they gonna make a way for the stank all cars, like for us with the inspections and yeah, all. Yeah, definitely. To the point that you have to. You better get listen you know, get to me. We better get our old schools within the next twenty years, or mm -hmm. you are gonna be in trouble, bro. <laughs> Coming on, we, you know, take our calls. Hey, you better get that thing within the next 20 years or your car going to be part of the pandemic. Enjoy it now. Enjoy it. Yeah, you got to enjoy it now. But you know what? Even though uh, a lot has happened, like I lost my mother during the pandemic. I took on my father during the pandemic. He just he just goes out of the pan. This is what happened in the pandemic when all you do is go to work, you come home, and then you get released on the live platform. You just you just let yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you got to let yourself go. 
That's, that's what it is, man. But, you hey. know, it's like you were saying earlier, I do believe you're talking something about getting close to the family. Right. During this pandemic time. You know what I'm saying? And you learn you learn more of um you learn more about your relationship too. Every time you know you, you get into that too, you know what I'm saying? How how good you with that relationship during this pandemic up under each other all day and all that, you know. You know it tests the waters. I ain't gonna talk too, but I got wife down there. I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna be sleeping up here while I'm at right now. Yeah. Nick, but you know what though? That's all part of growth though. Right. Because right. you need that. Because if we never had those moments, then you would never have grew through some things that you've been through. Although you we had some some rough moments, it built a stronger bond too. You ain't like, never lie. I ain't shit. gonna lie to you. Like, all. this dope. Like I don't want it to end now. You yeah. said it earlier, you looking to figure out how to for her not to go back exactly, to work, you exactly. know what I'm saying? Because now I'm accustomed to you being here. This is what it's supposed to be. Absolutely, it's supposed to be. I like it. I could just keep my kid at home and do my homeschooling, right. let them go half a day, maybe not a full day, so they could get their social time. You've been doing with a PT kids. with them, running them. I see you've been yeah. running his kid, my. My son but been your, running your me. Your son, Dusty, though, you were like, you yeah. had the camera on. He, he was like, yeah. My son, like, running, my son running me. <laughs> I have to get more consistent so he can get more consistent. Because right. he asked me, like, yo, dad, can you come out? So during the pandemic, my son then locked into something. He got a hold to something. Finally, like, yo, I want to do basketball right. and I want to do mechanics. There you go. Dad, I know you work out. Can you work out with me? Right. Can you give me a schedule? And I'm like, you know what? That makes sense because... Me being a coach, Ooh. I've done his assessment, and right. I know the way it's set up. Giving him a schedule will work for him. Right, man. This pandemic, yeah, a man. lot of people hey. have been successful in this pandemic. Yo, I must say it all depends on your situation, though. I mean, I oh, yeah. like the situation that you have, though. Like that, that's what's up. But there's some people out there, like uh, I can say, like my uh, my sister and her, her husband. They both work 40 plus hours a week. You know, they're having to pay. They live up in the D.C. area, dude. And you would not believe this, but they are having to pay like $5,000 a month for daycare type stuff. Ooh. Yeah. 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 What's up, McGinnis? How's it going, brother? That's cool. Welcome. Bro, welcome. It's... welcome. How many kids yeah. they have? That's Two. Cool. What do they do for work? Oh. Uh, well, my uh, sister, she's kind of like a, uh, I guess you can say, last I, last I heard that she was pretty much like part of the housing, selling houses and stuff like that. But Giant my, brother, my, my, my brother-in-law, God my, brother-in-law <laughs> my brother-in-law on the other side, though, uh, his is more of a discreet type of situation. Can't put that out there. Cool. Move. <laughs> that's what I was they got the hey. choice to move. Like the people hey. on the East Coast, the people I've offered. The, the people on the East Coast don't really have much to say because they used to an expensive lifestyle. Like if you live on the East Coast, you are used to shit being through the roof. Come on, hey, exp- that, that in California. Easy. Like, hey, well, that's, that's why right. Texas is the greatest country in the world. <laughs> So say? let's say McGinn say, say this pandemic forward. sucks ass, and then uh, getting it moving forward. Got my business, good monkey, good logistics. monkey logistics LLC. That's all right, man. Look at that. In this pandemic, it forced you to realize and understand to go back to to go back to what was. You know, I'm not an American dream supporter for what they call the American dream now. That's another story, but. What it did, this pandemic forced you to go back to what the American dream really was. Come over here, figure out how to get it on your own. Because this pandemic cut out jobs. It cut out school. It cut out a whole bunch of shit. It cut out pensions, 401ks. It cut out everything. And now we in the world where you could get on this thing. You can start talking. You can start teaching. You can start giving value and create a business for yourself. The right. American dream is to figure out how to get 
Yo, hustle long, build something, that craft hustle, something. Hustle and, muscle, man. and a pandemic well, it, is the perfect time to birth a business. Hey, look, and that also, look, I'm going to let you know this much. Hey, that also uh, correlates into whether the job that you have right now is uh, is a, uh, a survivor type type deal. Like, I work retail. I work at Home Depot, right? Uh, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy the company I work for. Hey, and uh, for a company that, uh, you know, still is up and running, wow, when the shutdown happened, I feel bad for the people that lost their jobs and stuff like that. But, hey, you, you may want to look at a different type of a career. It doesn't have to be retail. Hey, there's other companies that stayed open, but uh, you may want to also broaden your eyes. Like y'all are saying, hey, maybe it's something that you want to do yourself. Maybe that gave that opportunity. Maybe that gave that, that, that push to get you to where you're like, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot at it. I mean, what's it going to hurt? I mean, I'm already jobless. So let me go ahead and try my own thing, right? But uh, there's businesses out there that are still surviving. You got to think about the needs of people right now. Yep. People hey, look, I'm telling you, so where to stay? You know, yep. the real estate, whatever. People always need what? Haircuts still. You know what I'm saying? You, the, the needs are yard works, all that good stuff. You Trades are different. important. Yeah. Trade hey, look, learning a trade is a, is important nowadays because yep, yep. it's 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 the trade the skilled labors that's being that, cut that, right that's now. gonna that's being cut those are the jobs that's that's still gonna be there automation is not gonna replace you know all mechanics automation are not gonna replace plumbers and all welders automators gonna replace carpenters you know what so it's the being skilled, scarce they're scarce now absolutely them, it's them, the skilled labor job yeah but then also now is the time it, it's it's the intellect time it's the time of intelligence because you got the internet if you write if you sing if you play music if you work out mm -hmm. if you do personal fitness if you work at home depot and you know how to teach how to go up and down the aisles of Home Depot and find this stuff without a salesman. If you could put that together in the webinar or class and you have a skill how to sell that, the internet provides a way for you to freely do that during the pandemic. Why? Because everybody's sitting at home looking at this damn thing. Uh, yeah. Yep. Hey, look, hey, like uh, I'm, I'm going to bounce off a shooter over here. Right. Killer wolf over here. Hey, I'm going to bounce off a killer wolf over here. You know, he's talking about, you know, things that you need. Right. And I think one of the biggest things that a whole lot of people don't uh, don't uh, pay attention to is that there's a difference between your needs and your wants. Right. right. Your needs are going to get you what you want. Right. You need to have a job. You need to be doing this, you know, whatever it is else it is, you know, but what you want is going to be on the other hand. Right. The wants can be put on the back. So I'm going to be put on a burner because you know what? If you get your needs in line, you'll get what you want. Yeah, this this pandemic taught a lot of people what the hell they need and what the hell they just want. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, yeah, you, 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 you need hey, you hey, you, hey. All right here, hey. 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 hey, you you need a car, but you want a Mercedes. Yeah, you need a car, but you need to get you from point A to point B. Once you start wow. figuring out what you. McGinnis earlier say, uh, say, fuck it, just move forward. That's the way of the grunt. All right. So even during this pandemic, you got to just move forward. Charlie Mike, like you, you have to could Charlie Mike and you have to complete the mission one way or the other because the pandemic is here and you don't know when it's going to end and you don't know what it's going to be like on the other side of it. Either you go um, continue to live your life or you just go wait till this shit pass. I say, man, get out there, live your life, man. Whatever you want to do, live your life. Don't stop. Period. It forces you to. You you have no choice but to. Because who do you know? Who the fuck gonna stay in the house forever? Uh, don't travel no fucking way. You know what I'm saying? I I'd have been traveling. You know, been going doing what I need to do. Whatever you know, what I'm saying. I say live your fucking life. Whatever you want to do, continue to do it. Do it. And hey, if you can I, I, take care of your health, then that's all yourself, you need to do. Take care of yourself. Be courteous to people. Um. That's around you, whatever, you know. Keep moving. Do your thing. Learn how to adjust and adapt and still do what you want to do. Because shit, you got you got people cooped up in the house right now that been cooped up in the house since the pandemic. Third crazy. And probably watch CNN and how they and shit to how they how they tunes Third just going. Because if you look at it, they they post more 
of people on um, the deaths of people, but yeah, they post less of the how many people to recover from the shit. So yeah, yep, well, absolutely. So it's kind of you know it's a scare tactic trying absolutely. to get people to cooperate with the fuck they putting in the play for us. You know, you gotta wear your mask, all that, which is understandable to me. Mm -hmm. But you know, I think it's more of a scare tactic because more people they show more of the, the bad side than the recoveries. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? More recoveries than deaths. Wait, yeah, but, absolutely. You know, it's just my opinion. No, I hear you. That hey, y'all two ain't. Again, like I y'all two ain't six feet apart. Huh? You better uh, to be six feet apart. So y'all oh, two yeah. ain't not six six six, six feet. Right. Hey, look at y'all. You better cover up. <laughs> let me uh, let me chill out before we get you know get somebody on there. Probably. You never know. Might somebody get on us on. There. Yeah, hey, you better watch out. I don't even the way my mind. What is it all? What, how look, we doing in formation? Yeah, yeah. we got to hold on. Yeah. We got to take a time out. Then we got to move open, up, open arms right. <laughs> Let's move our chairs back. How to forward? Get up. Okay. Let's move our chairs back, and then we can be arms length away. Uh, but you know what? Though no, real talk, uh, when my brain is set up. I don't even see that coming to my concept. Like I don't even see that in. That even that perspective that us even sitting that close is a problem. Don't even come into my concept because I don't carry it around with me. I know his health. He don't carry it around with him. So I just don't even see that. It's like I'm going into a clean environment. I'm coming from a clean environment, going to a clean environment. My mind ain't it's, it ain't even thinking that that ain't even this, our conversation. This when you got you know what I'm saying. You gotta really like, know you. Know your like, peeps, man. You gotta, yeah, you gotta like, know your so story. it's like I I know I where know. I'm going. I wouldn't even be going there if it if it was right. if it was there, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, anyhow, but again, like I was talking about earlier, that placebo effect. You said they talk about more people died and more people that beat it because. They want you to see the people that's dying. They want you to see the well, symptoms change every other week, every other day. Right. So yeah. you don't stop talking about it. As soon as you hear a symptom, you go check it out. But then you hear about somebody beat it. Somebody 90 beat it. Somebody 100 beat it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that was, you know, had diabetes beat it. Somebody you, this beat you it. You got some of the people um, that's fit, fit as hell that died from it. They died from it, bro. It just depends, you know. If it's your time, it's your time. That's what I feel. The yeah, pandemic. Yep. If, if it's your time, it's your time. Pandemic or not. Right. If it's your it, time. It's like going overseas. It, it's like going overseas and, uh, you know, hoping not to get shot at or hope not to get more around this, that, and the other, right? So, hey, you know, if it's your time, it's your time. Hey, well, the good the Lord blesses uh, that. Good that Lord bless man. Man. What, what was up with the point of that? Man, I don't know. The, you saying that right now just made my arms sore thinking about it. They used to hit it. that bit right back Oh, oh man. man. They used to hit it right there, too. Man. They used to hit that thing right there. Right in the back. Man. They felt like it was putting the baseball in your arm, man. Man. Ooh, ooh, just that big burn like a motherfucker. Thinking about it right now, it hurts. Just thinking about it. Whiskey Charlie, you look like you look like we don't know what we talking about, man. Hey, y'all do. Hey, I, right now, man. They knocked it off. I, 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 I don't think I took it when we went because I stopped. You didn't have to take the whole series. At first, you used to have to take it, and then they knocked it off to where I don't know if I took it in two thousand nine. But ooh, I know I took like two of them boys, and I was like, uh, uh, that uh, is a small uh. Box. Yeah, that's that small pop. Oh, yeah, I got that too. You know what? Yeah, I got that too. You know I got what? that tattoo right there, man. I had it. I, I took it and I got to Kuwait. And the doc tried to give it to me again to say it didn't take. I was like, you ain't fucking with me with that shit. No more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how many times have they lost shot rockers, shot records over shot there? Records, man. Man. Yeah. Oh, you don't got I, no I don't know how many times I had the tetanus shot. The army have you built for a pandemic, man. Like you said earlier, that's the grunt way. You yeah, always find your way box. through something. Ain't no telling what the army done shot you up with, what they gave you. But what they did teach you 
was there is always a way. It always fits. There is no obstacle you cannot overcome. Hmm. That's just what it is. Yeah. That's just what it is. If we'll you continue on. Yeah. We gonna complete the mission. We go um everybody, we're gonna get through this shit too, you know. Yep. Drink water and take some Advil. Get, keep going. <laughs> All right. Get you some Pedia light, man. Get get hydrated. Hey, hey, you, you see that uh the new the new Pedia light within the last year or so it come out for grown people now, right? It's not just for uh kids now. They actually got I the drinks it. you can buy at the gas station. Yeah, it's good for hangover. It's good for uh, it's got all the vitamins and everything else you need. Yeah. Hydration, yeah. That shit pretty good. I've been drinking that shit since the military. Mix it with a little water. Yeah. Uh, I have to send a, 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 a R.I.P. shout out to my my fallen brother, Shilling. Yeah, Shilling, Brad Shilling. It is the 22nd, but I believe the date is the 16th. I know it's right before Thanksgiving. I was the first guy we lost in Iraq in 06. So, uh, yeah, I want to make sure I get that out there before I forget on this on this Thanksgiving holiday during this pandemic time and what, wow. what people is getting through and what we making it through. What people is building, what people is doing. I wanted to make sure I put that out there. Also, I wanted to say a special, uh, I don't know if you will say a special prayers to the family, uh, other soldiers who lost their life over over in uh, Egypt, MFO. I was a part of that mission twice in uh, 04 and 2015, a helicopter crash. And, Five soldiers lost their life, and it's crazy because that helicopter crashed going to Tyran Island, and that was a place where I flew on a helicopter frequently. I can dig up in my old photos and videos of being on the helicopter from an old skew Huey to a Black Hawk, and I know what it's like when it's flying in bad weather, so... uh <laughs> Prayers to their family, you know what I'm saying, especially during this time of the holiday. You know, the pandemic has has a, had a lot of things happen. You know, what in the heck is Whiskey Charlie up to? Nothing. He probably scrolled. <laughs> you just never know. <laughs> just, by you just never know what Whiskey Charlie is up to. <laughs> but yeah, man, this pandemic has been doing, a, it's been a crazy time. And we've had a lot of tropical storms during this pandemic, oh, too. Oh, man. Shit, I'm going <laughs> hey. Hey, what are y'all what are y'all talking about? Y'all y'all up there, y'all up out of the way over here. I'm, I'm down here in the armpit of Texas, man. We hit got hit by every single one of those motherfuckers. <laughs> well, yeah, you, you like my people in Louisiana, man. It's been picking on yeah. the whole time, man. They Bruh, I, I am literally like 15 minutes away from Louisiana. Right. Louisiana uh, line, dude. Like, hey, like it, it just like wants to just ride right up our asses every fucking time. You know, Oklahoma up there got the what tornado alley. I guess that's the hurricane alley right now. Man, are you that close to Louisiana? What part? Yeah, yeah, he's right there. Yeah, I'm I'm a Viter, so I'm literally I'm like uh there's only it goes from Viter to Orange to literally right into Louisiana. Yeah, like right I, I, I get to, yeah. I get to Lake Charles in like uh like 40 minutes if not less, which Wait. is where the casinos are at. Right. Really? Yep. Right though, man. Oh wow! Yep. Well, that's pretty I'm, cool. I'm about three and a half, about three and a half hours away from uh, from New Orleans. Shit, really? Um, bad. Well, shit. I think you might be what well, about maybe about two and a half away from Baton Rouge. Yeah. Uh, New Orleans a little uh, trip because once you cross that Mississippi, you go left, you right there in Baton Rouge. So yeah. Yeah, you had you had to go over. Uh, yeah. I, not, not a whole lot of people know about that 12 mile bridge over that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man, I look here. I was coming. Enlighten me. I don't know what the 12 mile bridge is, man. Bro, I was coming Le from. Learn me something during this pandemic. I was coming from New Orleans. Me and my girl coming across the bridge, man. I had to piss like a motherfucker. <laughs> you know, ain't no, it never ain't fails. No, it never fails. It, it never ain't fails. no real meat on side that motherfucker. <laughs> man, I get up there. 
I'm waving the shit still. Told them you got the cars coming by there. Everybody drunk. They like, hey, you know, get on, get on. We about that pissed. I like, babe, watch out for me, man. I swear, I swear that water right up up on that motherfucking bridge, man. Hold on. So, is it for twelve miles? You don't got no. You got no gas station. You got shit. No, nope, hey, nothing. Bridge and water. Bridge. The bridge, basically. Go across that bridge and the water. You look off that bitch, the water kind of almost like right, right there. Yeah, almost now. Yeah, it's getting hot. You know, the whole New well, Orleans on the on for what, 12 Seattle. miles. Shit, could be, I think about 12 or more. Could be more. Yep, they, they, they call it like a 12. Uh, I think it's 12 miles, but it's literally it's one of those bridges you get on and it never fails. You get to use the bathroom or kids hungry. Something's yep. going on. And I ain't get on that bridge. That and ain't no shoulder. It no got, a, got a look piece. Oh, though. bro, the shoulder on the side of that bitch, you might as well get hit. You open up that door, just a crack, and you're getting smacked. Right. Yep. So yeah. it's two lines, it's like tight. And you know, motherfucker <laughs> coming from New Orleans, they gone. They, they yeah. Gone. Really? Yeah. You, you know, you fill up, you, you know, you fill up on one side or the other side, then you better hope you have enough gas to That's get on to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> <That's good. laughs> hey, 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 and, and uh, the middle, the middle part where you cross over. They don't have too many of those, and that's only most of them are only used for officers or uh, police. Yeah, they'll sit there in the middle of the clock. Yeah, yep, right yeah, right down, down them bridges. Man, hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. hell yeah! Hey, and, there, and there's alligators up in that bitch too. Like swamp or number swamp, number swamp, number swamp, <laughs> number swamp, bro. <laughs> you can smell it, you can smell it. Yep, you ain't never been through nothing like that, you man. Can smell it. Do you have to go oh, yeah. to one from here to like Louisiana? Um, from here, nah. You just go across on what is it on um, Bro Bridge. So yeah. I would have to hit that little twelve miles. And then miles. from back from once you cross Bro Bridge, um, what well, like, depends if if you stay on ten. If you yeah, stay on you're ten, you, you'll run into it. If you stay on oh, ten, you. Route. Yep. So if you stay on I ten, you'll run into that little twelve mile bridge and then run into Baton Rouge. Well, if you um. Well, coming across the Mississippi, you go left, that's going to Baton Rouge. You go right, you're going towards New Orleans. Just push all the way back, follow New Orleans. Yep. And you'll come up across. It'll, it, it'll tell you where you'll be looking, be like, you know, basically they need to put last call, like, for yep. call. basically last call for gas before you cross <laughs> yeah. Yep. You listen, you know? Yeah. Hope you're in, sir. Yep. You're not going to be able to bring you that much gas to get across yeah. that motherfucker. Depending on where you at, I guess. Ooh, wee, it's a twelve mile, but it's like twenty mile. Man, I, hey, so long, go ahead and put your long, hey, long go ahead and put your ruck on. Go ahead and put your ruck on. Go ahead and put your ruck on. March it. Twelve mile ruck. Let's you're go. Make, you're gonna make it. Now, man, it's too much traffic. Yeah, been ran over. Yeah, it wasn't no traffic. Yeah, you have to shut that down. I ain't doing that with no traffic, man. They be like, how did he go down in the pandemic? Corona? No, the twelve, the twelve mile. And basically, you know, bridge. it's on the sea level. So yeah. when you cross that bridge, you'll see why it's on the sea level. The yeah. the city shouldn't have been there. They said they shouldn't have put that shit there. Period. Shit wow. on the sea level. That's crazy. But it's yeah, crazy. like uh, like Lake Charles right now. Like uh, Lake Charles, you know, they were affected by the last couple of hurricanes. Right. And uh, I've I've talked to. Some fellow uh, associates over in the uh, Lake Charles store, and man, they're they're still. It's, it, uh, I've talked to them all the time, and there's there's no recovery. We got uh, contractors driving all the way from Lake Charles all the way to Beaumont. Again, it's like a forty five minute to an hour drive, and uh, and they're uh, they're having to pick up material from our store just to go back over there. That's how bad they were devastated. Wow! And that bridge is fucking. They done wrote that bridge, you know, the bridge you come up, that, that tall bridge coming late, Charles. Oh, that, yeah, bitch, like that shit is so unstable. They, if you look up on it, they did a documentary about it. It, yep, like they need to be working on that, but like they need to close it down. They said you could take a loop around it, but they need to close that bridge down and start working on it because you get up under that bitch and get a professional, you point out all kinds of shit. That bitch this close, Paul, and still yeah. using it, all right. Hell yeah. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Yeah. I rolled across too. I'd be like, I don't feel like rolling around, taking a chance. I, 
Oh. oh. Roll up through the. You, you, you've been across there before. No, I ain't never been you get, through well, when, Whenever you go up, you have to be just like my daughter does. She just throws her hands up. Wee. I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know what bridge you're talking about because I've only been through Louisiana a few times that I could really think of, to be honest. Well, with if you're coming from here, um, from Austin, where you've been on I-10, you went across that bridge in Lake Charles. Yeah, I think I went into Lake Charles when we went to Mississippi for that um to go to Airsoft. Yeah, you went, you went that one it. bridge that go up. I don't know. Go all the way up, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's down. Yeah, I think I went over there. But yeah, man, that's crazy though. You know, yeah. different different parts of the world having different things going on during the pandemic. Because I know back up in Michigan now. They're uh, shutting down the hospitals where there's no visitors. They're shutting down the schools again. And Texas is like, yo, we still going to be open. We Bro. ain't shutting down oh, nothing. Nah, nah. We going to be We're open. Texas strong, baby. Get down. We I ain't going to lie. Austin's shut down. Austin's you go to, shut you go to down. Houston, El Paso is. You go to Houston, Dallas, and um, any other place, that bitch wide open. Georgia is wide open. You, you don't, you don't hey. even think that a pandemic on would go to Georgia. You walk around with masks, they're looking at you like, man, what's up with you? Where you from? For real? Like, you got a mask on? Like, what's up with you, man? Hey, no hey, way. Hey, yeah, they clubbing. They, 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 they clubbing, man. No I'm way, man. You, man. George is not walking around, like, looking at you crazy they, if you got a mask man, on. Hey, look, they clubbing, too. Go, go check the clubs out, all that up there. They clubbing. What? They like, what you, what you doing with that mask, man? What you doing? They look at you crazy. Like, that's some foreign shit. For real, bro. You think they're in a third world country like that shit ain't affecting much? <laughs> but yeah. It, How did that make you feel, bro? Especially okay, so you coming from here and you here and you you not corona crazied out, but you aware. You you in you you in the know. You're aware of what's going on and how you wear it here and how you do here. How did that make you feel when you go there? You know what I I'm can, saying? I continue to do the hell I do here. <laughs> I ain't a follower. <laughs> I continue to do the same shit I do here, man. You know, it's, it's your choice. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, 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 hey what they know it like, look like over there? They just went back to red. They was green for a while, but they went back to red um about a week ago, I think. So what is, what does red mean? Like that means you know, I guess the case the cases are increasing. Sometimes they'll switch different states to. Red, um, green, you know, shit like that. You, you mm -hmm. when you're at green, your shit going down, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. But red, you know, the case is going back up, hospitalization, shit like that. Yeah. But basically the whole country red. So <laughs> you get to stay here and let it go green, but by the next day it go back red. So yeah. That's crazy though. Although, you know, um, and this pandemic, I, I actually, what's the name, though? I got my uh, life coaching certificate during this pandemic. Right. So a lot has happened during this pandemic, man. Yeah. A lot has happened during this pandemic. I got my daddy practically walking again. Mm. He got his rollator from him. the I wheelchair him, to walking. He walked the block yesterday, I bro. I see him, man. That's good shit. So it's a lot, you know what I'm saying? He needed that energy from you, man. Man. He needed that energy. Ooh, do we get it, bro? You gave him that energy, man. Do we get it? You need that energy, man. Get yeah. that shit fine. So a lot. Then we started this show. I started I started this show on May 31st, 2020. That was going to be That was before it was ready. So we could been doing this show before we went on the train. Hey, bro. Oh. 
tired. Look. What? Oh, look. Killer Wolf done left. What the hell happened to him? He got, he got scared of the uh, pandemic, huh? No, he went to do something, man. Yeah, I don't know what he went to go do. Oh. Yeah. I, I tell you what, though. I tell you what, uh, I tell you this much: when that pan- pandemic hit, uh, like it affect. <laughs> hey, again? When pand- I said when the pandemic hit, uh, uh, when it came to uh, some retailers, I can tell you what: uh, it, it definitely faced uh, some uh, significant challenges out there. And uh, it, my yeah. biggest thing is, is like, hey, when 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 it first hit Home Depot, and I know a couple, quite a few other retailers. Uh, went to a uh, limiting amount of people, limiting the people that allowed in their store at a time, right? Well, now with this second wave, the biggest thing is, is I'm looking at is they'll go back to that limit. And uh, so many people didn't like that limiting thing. So if uh, if you don't want to have to be limited of what you can do, sometimes it's the best just to, I mean, I, I was called a, uh, I was wearing a mask. Yeah, you know, I had to, had to wear a mask because that's what my company requires. But uh you know, I got called being a, I got called uh, for being a sheep. Hey, because I was following the rules, this, that, and the other. What? And this, that, and the other. Yeah, no, no lie. I got called a bitch. What called you that? Yeah, called me a sheep because I was following uh, what what my company required me to do to pretty much uh, make my money uh, mm-hmm. and stuff like that, dude. I got called all kinds of things, and you know, and like I've talked to uh, you know my fellow associates about, hey, look, all we can do is what we're supposed to do. You know, I mean, outside that, I mean, thing is, is, uh, but uh, I think with the biggest thing, it also kind of showed me during this pandemic is uh, respect for other people and anything else. It's not there for anybody. They don't respect it. You know, if, if you're required, if they're saying, hey, you're required to wear this and you're saying, fuck that, I'm not that person. I'm not a sheep. Go to but, uh, <laughs> I understand that. I understand what you feel because I don't feel like I should have to wear a mask. But outside that, outside that, when I go to a store or retail, another retail that I see other people not wearing one, I'm going to wear mine because I respect the people that work there. I respect the people that, you know, are caring for their family. Hey, maybe again, their health ain't the best. I could carry it and not be intention. Uh, like I, I could be a carrier, but not also uh, be the person that's feeling those symptoms. But I can pass that thing off to somebody else, you know, and that, that's not the right thing to do. If you really think about if, if people really think about it, that they could really affect somebody else's life. Because you could be passing that on to somebody, causing severe you know, death or severe illness to somebody else. That's what it's about. It's it's not about whether you're sheep or what the fuck you are. Like at the end of the day, I'm here to respect anybody and everybody because that's who I am. But if if you think it's all because you're on the rules, this that and the other, okay, you're a badass because you think that you ain't gonna get it. Well, guess what? My thing is is that hey. And this is the way I feel about it. You catch it. I hope something intentionally happens to you because you thought you were too good for that fucking mask or something else like that. You know, you don't want to follow follow the guidelines. That's uh, like on being, this that's like being too good to wear Kevlar combat. Did well, I guess we all sheep because we had to wear Kevlar. Bullets <laughs> won't hurt me. We all we all sheep then, I guess. <laughs> Bro, like, it, dude, I just don't understand, man. It, it had me so mad that, you know, when that guy called me, that I, I, I could have said something, went, went about some stuff a different way. But, you know, again, I respect. Yeah. It's about respecting each other, man. Hey, it's about respecting each and every person out there. Hey, you don't know what anybody else is, what they have of what, uh, like, you know, you're, you got higher causes and you can catch it easier or it can be worse for you. Again, like we were talking about earlier, depending on your age, depending on your health, right? You being healthy and stuff like that, yes, uh, hey, right. may not hurt you as bad, but you can carry that thing and pass it on to somebody. So it's just the idea of respecting another individual because, hey, I'm going to wear mine just because I know that this person uh, this person over here could be affected by it or their kid. You, they could be a carrier too, and they can take it to their kid or their grand, their, their father or their grandfather or whatever else or grandmother You know, and carry it on to them. What I noticed about it is like, you know, whoever the guy is called you a sheep. Everybody doesn't deserve a reaction. You know, um, you know what you need to do for your family. You know what I'm yeah. saying? For your family members to be safe, secure your job and shit like that. A lot of people don't need a reaction. I'd be like, okay, cool, whatever. Yep. 
cheap. Call me whatever you want, but you got to get the well, that's, that's yeah. the way I did it, too. I was like, okay. And I just kept moving on. Hey, but in my mind, in my mind, I wanted to say some other things and do some other things. But again, uh, I, I got to, I, every day, everything I do is based on, upon my two baby girls and my wife. Right. I can care less about anybody else. Hey, screw that shit. Right. It ain't, it, it ain't nothing worth putting their, them in jeopardy of any type of way. My wife's a stay home. My wife's a stay home wife, and she's been that way since two thousand and see. My daughter's fifteen, uh, five years old, so two thousand and fifteen. So she's been a stay home mom since two thousand fourteen, two thousand fifteen. So, and I enjoy that. Like you were saying that earlier, you know, talking about you wanting to keep your uh, wife home, dude. I love it. You know, yeah, in that life. I like picking on my wife during the daytime. You know what I'm saying? Pick on and get on her nerves, shit like that. She cooks, you know, good stuff, man. Get good eating, all that good stuff, man. Hey, <laughs> look, I, and I have much respect for my wife, too. Like, a, a lot of uh, fathers out there, uh, I mean, a lot of uh, baby daddies, I guess you could say. I, I don't say fathers because fathers will step up to a plate. But babies, daddies, and stuff like that, they don't re really appreciate uh, what actually goes on at home without them being there. And uh, my, my wife, she said she's a champion, dude. She's a champ. That's all I can say. I don't see how she does it. Household, too. That's a, that's a job. It's all take care of them kids, cook and clean and wash this all day. They got, you know, wash clothes every day. You know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit will fuck with you, man. Just so, you know, I, I tell people, man, show your wife some love. Show her some respect, you know. Hey. I know my wife, she's like, you know, you 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 do you appreciate me cook? I like hell yeah, I appreciate you cook. I just told her she cooked just then. I like hey, baby, thank you for this meal, baby. Don't 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 do it, don't stop. You know what I'm saying? They gotta have that appreciation, man. So you watch appreciation. Yeah. Don't listen to them yeah. knuckleheads. That's why hey, I just call not look. pandemic by themselves. <laughs> that shit ain't cool. Don't listen to hey, look. Kids, man. Hey, look, I, I say I say well, when it comes to it, yeah. Hey, hey the homie can tell me, the homie can tell me, man, wolf, you whipped. I like hell yeah, I've been whipped about, like about like fifteen yeah. years, like a sack yeah. whipped yeah. up, a chef. Right. Hey, <laughs> look, you know what? Exactly. People will call me the same thing, but you know what? Uh, I don't care. Hey, look, she takes care of me. She takes care of my girls. Uh, like I, I can tell you this much: a lot of people call me a, a, a good housewife. Is what they always call me because. Uh, I try to at least once or twice a month, or if not three times, if I can, depending on work and everything else. But dude, I'll go through and uh, I'll super clean, like dust, mop, wash dishes, put away, do the laundry, put them away. You know, mm -hmm. hey, sweep up, sweep underneath the couches, not just sweep around the couches. I'm pulling the couches to the other side of the room. And well, sweeping out from underneath a vacuuming. That's how I roll too, but why not? We stay here. You know, yeah, exactly. Out of responsibility, they just wore a person. You know, mm -hmm. well. If you see so, pick it up. So. Hey, like I'm trying to teach my daughter that man. I'm telling you what, teaching them youngins. <laughs> I wonder why my mom, and mom, and my dad always wanted to lay hands on me. God damn! Like, hey, you know, clean up after your damn self. Shit, my daughter's this getting pandemic up. has got my eyes open. My daughter getting up teenage years, so I'm feeling it right Ooh. now. Ooh, they don't listen to what you say. They watch what you do. And That's she sits it. right up here, man. Like you call her day, be like, "Hey, come get your food," and she wouldn't say nothing. I know she hit me, but she be sitting right there, be like, "Oh, be like what?" I'm like, "Come on down, get your food, man." I know you heard me the first. I'm about to catch his hands. Hey, go ahead, do some push-ups. Hmm. Do some push-ups. <laughs> do some quad cross. Hey, I need that Wilson. You remember that Wilson I told you about? Just holler up there. When I was in um my Carville boot camp in motherfucking on Louisiana, you know somebody was getting their ass smoked because you heard that whistle. That bitch was like, pew, 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 pew. but you know, like up, down, you know yeah. how they do it. They be like, do, do, do. I'm like, I'm like, did he stop? He be like, oh, you ain't with the whistle. Did you hear that bitch get high? Do, 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 do. Then he'll go like, do, do, do. Then that bitch be like, ho. I need, I'm going to hey. get that whistle for her, but I get that whistle. Why well, get the whistle name? Tell her, yo, dinner's done. And let her come get it when she's ready. That's what we're starting on. By a certain time, just put it up. Yeah, that's what we're starting on. 
Yeah. Hey, well, you go. You not hungry? Whatever. I didn't did my part. It's yeah. done. Yeah. But when I'm ready to shut the kitchen down for the night, if I'm cleaning it up or organizing it, right. I'm putting it away. Mm -hmm. And it, you better clean it back up when you go get yours. As long as you clean it back up, good. We started doing. Hey, so, hey working out I, I, good. Hey, look, that goes to where a little subject I want to touch on is like what some uh, habits of uh, you know you you brought from the military to to uh to your home life that uh you haven't got rid of you know hey maybe it's folding your clothes maybe making it's a certain type of way and hey, making your bed every morning right you know hey maybe it's pt every morning maybe it's something yeah. like that like like what what is something that you still have the habits or hobbies of doing that was in the military that you've carried over with you pt hygiene um what else uh cleanliness <laughs> everything huh what else basically every a lot of most a lot of shit everything man having pride with myself um you know how i care of myself yeah those um, gotta be neat all that shit man do, do, I, hey, do you still do you still roll up your uh still roll up your shirts no nah, i don't do that no more i don't do nah, that. okay 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 do that no <laughs> nah, every now every now i catch myself I doing that though now, unless I don't want to pay for an extra bag when we travel, I, you know, we have to go to roll them up. But there we go. There we go. I don't do that. There we go. Yeah. What you, Sarge Smith? Big Sarge? Ah. Uh, What's something that you carried over on? Rucking. <laughs> yeah, rucking. <laughs> yeah. Rucking just, rucking just started doing the pan right before the pandemic. I started rucking in 2019. He just stopped shaving. Yeah. So he he been you know, he been shaving. So he just I, don't, stopped shaving. I, don't, I stopped shaving back in 2018, 2017. And I that's really, all you got? Yeah, that's it, man. I'm not a hairy person, and I've never done anything like <laughs> I never groomed it. As Bro, we'll say. this dude, I used to see him in basic, man. My motherfucking chin used to be bumped up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to even shave in the morning? He, he come out that baby face every morning, man. I'm like, damn, do he shave? Hey, a basic guy, the same way, bro. Basic, the same way. Baby, smooth butt face. Hey. I remember Joe Sorry always <laughs> tell me you, you, that everybody's shaving, you got to shave. I was like, you better. They'll be shaving that on skin. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm like, Ooh. like he was just playing it off, you know, he was playing it off, just, just shaving skin. I don't know, man. I think I got a host of things from the military, but they hit me at certain times at different times. Like, cause I started the military already at like 20. So as far as my clothes being sweet, being pressed and organized, I was already on that cause that was just Detroit flair. You know, you couldn't come out the house looking like anything or you was going to get talked about. That's the home of the So, you know, I ain't have much. So what I did have, you had to make sure it was sweet. So I had already had that. You know what I'm saying? Like wanting to work out a little bit. I had already played high school football. So I had already had working out a little bit. It may have gave me a little bit more discipline than what I had had. You know what I'm saying? It almost let me yeah. know I could almost accomplish anything. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I understood real quick about the military. It was almost not a business, but it was a business. You was going to get out of it what you put into it. Right. It was plain and simple as that. You know what I'm saying? It was like it had switched. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. The hydration, day, I forgot about. That. Yeah, you know, and I Drink and I water. learned the importance <laughs> of like, yeah, simple stuff like hey. water. The importance of, you know, what I'm saying, just being able to overcome stuff like walking and rucking, just taking your mind somewhere else. Mental toughness. You know, mental toughness. Yeah. You know yeah, and, and, a I, lot I, of I, I, like that. Hey, look, and I, I can tell you this: a lot of that correlates also. I mean, with the military uh, and with this, uh, like, like we're whole topic on this on the COVID-19 with that being said like hey a lot of that correlates like the hygiene again y'all are talking about before it's all about how your body takes it right in the military they trained us they take care of yourself right right that's yeah. the biggest thing you can do like hey right now with any type of infectious uh pandemic or whatever else you you're taking care of yourself whether it's you know physical or hygiene or whatever it is man hey that that there's a reason why they they were training us and on those pieces, right? And then also when it comes into anything, well, follow instructions, right? I'm popping my mask on. 
you know, we always didn't want to do everything that the military told us, but hey, you know what? We, hey, you gotta have to wear that PPE when they tell you ass to wear it, right? That's uniform. what we're doing. It's the uniform. uniform. <laughs> Hey, hey, thing, and I'm not the person that always is about following rules. I'm always, I'm more so asking for, give me forgiveness instead of asking for permission. But I'm, it's like, yo, it's too simple just to put the mask on. Why invite the unnecessary problem? You know what I'm saying? Like, why invite the unnecessary problem? Walk in for your safety, for the safety of somebody else. Go in and get what you want. The quicker you go in, get what you need, and get out. As soon as I get out the store, my mask come off my face because I'm comfortable oh, yeah. with that. And yep. I, I have, you know, big ass beard. You think I like put that mask right. on? But hey, right. it's part of the game, man. Hey, yeah. It looks like a set. It looks like a '70s chick coming out there, you know, with her down there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's what I noticed about. Here's what I noticed that during this pandemic. The people that were successful before the pandemic continued to be successful during the pandemic. The people that were unsuccessful before the pandemic continued to be unsuccessful during the pandemic. And unfortunately, if those people that was unsuccessful during the pandemic don't change their mindset in the pandemic or just throughout life, then they're going to be stuck in the pandemic almost in every stage of their life. Yeah, hey, look, and you know what that correlates to right there, Sergeant Smith? What's that? You know what that correlates with? What that is? This song I got for for right here. (laughs) (laughs) Same song, same song. Same song, I like that. Hey, 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 John Fur's jacket right now too. Yeah. Yeah. That's that legit hat, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That hat at. I do not want to be singing the same song, living the same life, doing the same shit at the same time at this stage next year. Only Bro. the same song I want to Preach. hear. I keep on Preach. moving up, doubling up, going Preach. forward, going, growing yeah. in my spirituality, in my emotionality, yeah. with my family. And my finances and my health and my wealth and my strategy for building for my family coming out this pandemic still plat not plateauing above plateauing just continuing to keep growing that's right no matter what no same song for me different e hey man it's time for me to go because i'm about to go home and be my family oh my God. Uh, this guy's, bro, this guy's gotta go. He's gotta go home and go to bed. Okay, now I'm like, no, I'm out. I'm about to go chill with my wife. 
did my time. This is ours. Oh, you did your time, huh? Damn, Damn you time. locked up or what, Doc? No, nah, I'm locked in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm locked in. You got to get focused. I ain't uh, locked up. I'm locked in. Everybody. You locked in, huh? Yeah. No, locked up is a, is a figmentation of the mind. Right. Locked in is a strategy. Hey. 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 Stop what you're doing, cause I'm about to ruin the image and the style that you're used to. I'm looking funny, but y'all make it all these things. So y'all know I hope you're ready for me. I got a round. I'm a little fool in town, and my sound's laid down by the underground. I drink a bottle of Hennessy, you got a shot. I'm about to let you know. Let me introduce myself. My name is Hope. Pronounced by Hennessy. Yo, ladies, oh how I like to fool. It's motivation, inspiration. Please allow me to fool. Come to your table, open your mouth. Oh God, it's like I'm the only one that's ever gonna fool. I'm the only one that's ever gonna fool. I like Drop a comment down below. holiday. What did you have to say about the pandemic on the holiday? Hey, hey, look. Put me on something like that. Come on, sit down and say hey or something. Right, sit down. I'll, I'll be sitting. Yeah. Hey, you? hey, hey, big sorry. Hey, my, my uh, my final words. Hey, man, make sure you respect other people, man. That's the biggest thing to me. Hey, look. Hey, look. I understand a lot of people out there as uh. Hey, you're a sheep. You're this. You're that. But at the same time, hey, you're you're better than anybody else. But uh, about respecting other people, you guys. Hey, you know, hey, if it's a few minutes, hey, look, everybody, when you come into a store, everybody's about getting in and getting out, right? Just pop it on, get in there, get your shit, get the fuck out. That's what it's about. Again, it. I don't understand what it is, or I don't follow all the news on coronavirus. But what I do know is this. Whatever it is, it's a real thing that's causing a lot of chaos in our society. It's the thing to where my kid's school sends me an email every time there's a positive case. And my kids are homeschooled. So it, I know it's a real thing, but like you said, my kids stay at home. I go out with my mask on, you know what I'm saying? Unless I'm going to somewhere where I believe it's a protected environment. Other than that, I'm not there. But yeah, man, you have to be aware. You have to respect everybody's space and come out of this pandemic winning. Learn something about your family that you didn't know before. Learn something about yourself that you didn't know before. Change your health, change your financial wealth, change your mindset for yourself. Go back and watch the grooming episode. Go to the grill and the tutor for yourself. Come on. Hey. We out. Baby, third at the house. Bro, man.